Hey special family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Autism Mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between. Today we're doing another fair use reaction video and it is about autism, the aggressive side. So let's take a look at this video. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Hey, let go. Papa John's. Help! Help! Get down to here, So you've seen that video. This is Cash and that's his mom. And I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna tell you right away. That's Ramsey. That is my son's behavior in living flesh. Only, he doesn't only do that. He also comes to choke you. And now he's taller than me. You see how tall Cash is. He's very strapping. Ramsey's the same way. and. It's like he know now he is taller than you and he, he wants to try you. He wants to push and see how far he can get. And I have to create that distance. I have to read the rec. I have to start counting with him. I, I will say like, show me two, show me four. And in the back of my head, I'm praying for the microwave to hurry up or for the food to cool off real faster. Because it's not like there's scheduled time for everything but sometimes he just wants stuff when he wants it and if it doesn't happen when he wants it it could be an issue or sometimes he'll just have a meltdown or a trigger without any it, it just comes there's no forewarning there's no bell there's no nothing and in that moment you have to as parent redirect guard yourself create that safe space make sure he has safe hands and pray nothing goes wrong that he don't choke you or smack you because now they're bigger than you. So my question to you as a parent, if you're dealing with this is, have you thought about, because Cash is 12, Ramsey's 12. But every day, his dad and I, we, we think about this like, if my son gets older, and this is what we're dealing with now, I don't know what we're going to do when he's 16, 17. I can't do that and most of you know dad works overseas and I'm here most of the time with him it's just me and him doing it together but it's only so much I can do I am five feet he's taller than me we're the same weight and we had to come to the rea realization I don't know why I keep struggling to say that word we had to come to the realization and to the conclusion this is not easy for me to say it it's been years that I had to process this because I saw it coming. Like every day you deal with your child, you see it coming. That there's going to be a time where I won't be able to get him to calm down. He will overpower me. And when that time comes, what steps are you willing to take? And my family, 
his dad and I have decided that when that time comes, we are willing to put him in a private home where uh, like residential living like a private resident home where they have like four to six of them living there with full-time staff all day long a nurse on staff and someone to take them to and from work if he has one or to his recreations or things that they do just to keep safety and yes that's not easy for me to say i'm still struggling with it but I have to think about his safety and my safety. Just like this mom has to think about her safety. I hear kids in the background and their safety. Because sometimes if they can't get to you, they'll get to the next thing, the next person. I'm speaking from experience. If he can't get to me, he'll go to the next person. And that's not safe. I'm seeing it going in the not safe direction already. It's a tussle between us. So we as special needs parents are faced with decisions like this, with situations like this. And we're not complaining. Don't look at this as a complaint. We're just sharing our lives, our journey, what we're going through. Yes, sometimes we get abused physically. But we don't call it that because our son or our daughter can't help it. They're not doing it on purpose. If they knew what they were doing, they would not be doing this. So we just... Do what we can about the situation but at the same time in order to protect both parties we have to make harsh decisions for our lives for our loved ones for the people in our family so let's go to the comment section i know there was a lot but that's just something i struggle with i still deal with because mentally i'm still processing it that this time is gonna come and i guess i'm preparing myself to take big steps and make rapid decisions when that time comes first commenter says the older he gets the bigger and stronger he is what do you do then are there any more service someone else responded i was wondering the same thing what if he becomes a danger to himself mom or siblings what are the options so i've told you guys my options i don't know what their options are but our option is to put him in a group home a small private group home where It'll be safe for us and safe for him. And you don't have to stand and fight your own child. Nobody wants to fight their child. Nobody wants to wrestle their child. I just want to love my child. I want to provide and give him everything he needs and, 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 and everything that's important so he can be safe, so he can be healthy, strong, and be himself. Next commenter says he's frustrated because he cannot form his words. Get an album and add pictures where he could point at what he wants before he gets his frustrated. Be before he gets this frustrated. Somebody else answered, and I like your advice. I was also thinking use of an AAC to facilitate communication as a replacement for aggression. I'm following you now. So when they say AAC, I have showed you guys before. Ramsey has a, a device. And on that device, they have different pictures with words attached to them. So if he wanted something from the refrigerator, he'll just say, I want to eat salami with his device. So he'll click on the pictures, form sentences, and the device would speak them out. So that's awesome too. Next commenter says, I hear little ones in the background. He's getting bigger and stronger. I hope they're safe. Someone responded, and the other kids will get bigger and know how to deal with the situation. Most of the time this age until after puberty is the hardest. I see a lot of it. I'm not taking this comment for granted because I'm experiencing it. And I really think it's it's puberty. Because they just, it, it's like whiplash. They just happen. It's not like there's a particular incident. It just happened. And I can get the frustration of them not being able to speak. And using an AAC device to, or an app to get the communication out, get their word out there. So I get it to make it a, less, a little less frustrating for them. But it's true. I can't think, oh, when the kids get bigger, they know how to deal with it. They shouldn't be in a hostile environment to begin with. They shouldn't be in danger. So it's up to us parents to make sure not only that our child with autism is safe, but also our kids who are not autistic are safe. One, one child shouldn't be a danger to another child. So it's up to us parents to figure out where we go from there. 
Next commenter says, hang in there mama, you're doing an amazing job. Ignore the ugly comments. People don't understand it if they don't live it. Now that's the truth. Because when you sit from the outside and you look in, it all seems so simple. Oh, tell them to go sit down or tell them to wait till it cools off. They don't understand that. That don't matter what you're saying. He wants it when he wants it. And if he doesn't get it, he'll have a meltdown. And when he has a meltdown, he'll try to either hit you, choke you, whichever come first or both. Somebody responded. Yes, I love your comment. People are good to judge, but don't understand until you live with one. Exactly. Another person commented, true, walk a mile in my shoes. My son is 36, lives at home. Still, he isn't autistic. He has uncontrollable epilepsy. It's so hard. I get it. Next commenter says, give him a set timer so he knows when food will be done. When the timer goes off, give him an activity or something sensory pleasing while he waits. That can happen to a certain degree, but usually when they're this agitated, none of this will help. I, I try counting, I try redirecting with all these different things, it doesn't help. Sometimes I resort to medication because he done went up, he flared up all the way now. I can't even bring him back down. Only the medication can. But you mean well, I get it. Next commenter says, mom, you got this. Redirecting is key to calm him. And you did a great job of doing so. Redirect. Somebody else answered, redirecting is key, but there are times that redirecting does not work. Like I just explained. Somebody else answered, she is his mom. I'm sure she knows what works for her and her child. Strategies for children with special needs are many. She got this. She does. I think if it was a lot for her, she would have let that be known to and found a different way to handle with that. But there are not a lot of options for us parents out there so we make do with what we have so i think she's trying to make it work for now with what she can so it's a it's a tough thing to be in next commenter says i cried for you both this has to be incredibly hard but you are doing so amazing your patience alone is a clear sign of a devoted mother definitely Next commenter, oh my god, you're so strong and patient and caring. My hat goes off to all great parents with autistic children. And when they say about the negative commenters, it's not that um, there are people that don't like us special needs parents showing stuff like this because they want people to believe that autism is this beautiful ball and in this ball everything is perfect and it's not. Autism come in various situations and various, like no two kids with autism are the same. Every child is individually different and their needs are different. Their behaviors are different. They have some similarities, don't get me wrong. But when it comes down to their behavior, what works for one might not necessarily work for the other one. And we want to show parents that we have similarities with or that go through the same things that we go through that hey you're not alone but guess what this is what i'm doing to um make it work for me maybe you can try it i'm not saying it will work for you but try it and see how far you come with this that what i'm doing that's the whole reason for showing others out there you're not alone there are other p parents with autistic children out here who are going through the same thing but we're showing our strategies or our situation so you see what we're dealing with, how we're dealing with it, and maybe it can work for you. Even if we help one person, that's the goal. Each one teach one. If you would like to follow this creator, this is her TikTok page and handle. Go on over to her TikTok page, give her a follow. She has awesome content. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a child that gets really aggressive and what your method is for dealing with that child. Because maybe somebody out there, maybe it'll work for them. For me, I told you what works for me. Grabbing him by the wrist, putting him to sit down, create distance, and counting, redirecting with different things until the stuff he needs is, is ready. But counting works, um, blowing bubbles works, don't give the iPad, that'll aggravate him. Um, or a, a snack in between, like salami. Like I'll strip the salami in little pieces and give it to him, that can work too. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.